สนับสนุนการเดินทางโดย g i g a b y t e r m a t e c h c i t y Esport l u s a t u g a l a x c o r s a i r Cooler Master MSI และ d e v a Natural Hey guys, thanks for joining us here at Zotac here at the Computex booth in 2015. Here behind me we have our brand new E-Series gaming, gaming Z-Box Mini PCs. And here we introduce two amazing, powerful new Z-Box Mini PCs. First, I want to introduce you to the EN970. This is our most powerful Z-Box made for gaming, desktop PC, or even to be using as your home theater PC in your living room. So we've designed it so that it's a complete matte black. So you can install it in your home, home theater living, living room systems. So it'll go and match for the rest of your home, uh, home theater components as well. So here it's being powered by an Intel Core i5 uh, 5200U CPU processor, being powered by an NVIDIA 970M mobile graphics. So you can install up to two and a half inch hard drives and an additional M.2 SATA SSD. You have dual gigabit ethernet and four HDMI 2.0 out. So you can do up to either four displays or even just triple displays yourself for your gaming. To the right of it, we have the EN960. It's a little brother to the EN970, but it's also still being powered by the Intel i5 CPU and with an NVIDIA GTX 960M mobile graphics processor. So it's a little less powerful, but still very capable of playing your 1080p games in your desktop or on your largest display, which is your TV in your living room. So look forward to these, both of these units coming out late this year by Q3. Here we have our AMD powered Z-Box, the MA760. So it's being powered by AMD FX 7600 APU. So this is made especially for digital signage. So we have four display outputs, and here we have it showing up in a two by two configuration. Each monitor has a resolution of 1080p for a total of a 4K resolution. And here we have set up our high res 4K images just to show you what it's capable of. Not only is it capable of playing high res images, but it can also play 4K videos as well. Here we have our brand new R series. What's so special about this is that it can support RAID 0, 1, or JBOD. And at the same time, it can support up to three storage solutions. So either two, two and a half inch hard drives and an additional MSATA SSD slot. But what's also unique about this R series is that you can disable the MSATA slot and configure it into a mini PCIe Express slot. So once you do that, you can install your own add-on module to add additional features. So here in this demo, we have one system set up as a installed with a TV, cap, TV tuner card, and to the left has a video capture. So both is being powered by an Intel Broadwell Core i3 processors. This is the RI-531. And here in our home theater demo display, we have our brand new C-Series unit, the CI-521. It's being powered by an Intel Core M processor. It can handle up to two dual storage solutions, a two and a half inch hard drive and an additional M.2 SSD. So it'll come also integrated with eight gigabytes of LP DDR3. So it's completely passive, no fans whatsoever. So it's very, very good for your home theater solutions where noise can be getting in your way of your home theater experience. Here behind me, we have our smallest Z-Box we've ever made yet. This is the Pico PI320. It's completely passive, so you can use it in any location where you would need it. And it's small enough that you can fit in your pocket. So it'll come with 32 gigabyte of eMMC storage, two gigabyte of memory, and pre-installed with Windows 8.1 with Bing. So when you unbox it, it'll be ready to go once you connect your keyboard, mouse, 
and display it, and it's available now. Here we have our brand new 980 Ti NVIDIA graphics card. This is making its first time appearance here at Computex Zotac's booth in 2015. So I want to introduce you to our Zotac GTX 980 Ti Amp Edition. So all of these is using our custom coolers. So what we've done is we took our cooler from the 970 series and we tweaked it a little bit to make it perform much better for the more powerful GTX 980 Ti. So with this card, we introduced three 90 millimeter wide blade fans, but not only that, we introduced the wraparound backplate that we introduced in the 960 amp. So we incorporate it with all the rest of our 980 Ti amp series. So, and the new thing that we introduced was the graphics. We wanted to differentiate our graphics cards from our other competitors. So this is the only, the entry level to our overclocked uh, graphics card. So what I really wanted to show you is our new coolers, starting with the amp Omega here. So we want to introduce a completely new design for our 980 Ti. Something very powerful, very sleek, and very good looking. A couple of the new features I wanted to talk about are our Echo fans. It's using a dual blade fan design to increase airflow by up to 30%, but at the same time, keep static pressure low so all the air stays down in the graphics card. It's a very big card. It's two and a half slots. It looks very large and it looks heavy, but it's not. Most of the bulk is taken up by the heat sink itself to keep the card cool. And that, Yet again, you have the graphic and with the wraparound backplate to make the graphic card look like one unit. But I wanted to show you our fastest graphics cards we have available in the 980 Ti family. This is the 980 Ti Amp Extreme. We have it running here, demoing NVIDIA's, uh, the new game, Project Cards, to show it off. So what's special about this one is it's our fastest, boosting up to 1355 megahertz. And to, dif to differentiate it between the Omega, we've added additional LED lighting to add additional detail when you install it into your system. And the last one I wanted to show you is our brand new Arctic Storm cooler. This is our hybrid cooling solution, where you can run the card itself with just air cooling alone with the three 90 millimeter fans, or when you're ready, you can install your own liquid cooling solution so you can get maximum performance. So we've also introduced the wraparound backplate on this as well but we've added a different type of graphic to make this card stand out even more for your system. It's a very heavy card. So we've installed, uh, we've included a support bracket where you can mount to here. So when you install it on your system, you have a pole to support the card so that it doesn't break your computer. And those will be all coming out within two, three weeks from this event. So look forward to it by the end of June.